Epstein's death has officially been ruled a suicide by the medical examiner. And as much as there are a lot of people who are going to say, see, it's over, the story's done, it's actually not done. It's not. There's still a few things to consider. Was he allowed to commit suicide, right? So if it was just suicide, the question may be that the guards still screwed up, or maybe there still is a conspiracy in that somebody said, look the other way, let him end it. So there have been some speculation that he was simply allowed to commit suicide. He was taken off suicide watch. The guard wasn't a real guard. They slept, they lied, and then they wake up to find he had done the deed. However, the story's actually not done for a legitimate reason. Epstein's lawyers are rejecting the findings of the medical examiner, saying they're going to be releasing a statement in the coming days. And all that really matters is that no one is buying it. Take a look at this tweet from Peter Baker. Medical examiner rules Epstein death a suicide. He appeared to have tied a bed sheet to the top of a set of bunk beds, then knelt toward the floor with enough force that he broke several bones in his neck, officials said. Now, I see a lot of people saying, how do you kneel with force? And I guess you uh, just kind of drop, I guess, or you, you, you lean forward. I don't know, but I don't want to act like I know better than medical examiners. I am not a doctor or a nurse or a medical professional. And if the bones in your neck can be broken relatively easily, perhaps that's the case. I think a lot of people are going to assume whatever the bone is, it's like your, your arm or your leg. No, it's probably a small bone that is broken with not even that much force, right? Here's the thing. The first tweet underneath yeah, right. Uh, well, we don't believe it. Trump, Putin, and Barr did this guy in. Well, uh, you gotta love that there are people who believe either Trump did it or the Clintons did it because it's still 2016. But let's jump over to the actual story and read about what's, uh, what's fascinating to me is the lawyers challenging the medical examiner's findings. Now, before we get started, make sure you head over to timcast.com slash donate if you'd like to support my work. There's a PayPal option. There's a crypto option. There's a physical address. But of course, the best thing you can do is just share this video because I assure you, you know what, man, this is, there are a ton of really big stories lately dealing with immigration, dealing with Israel, dealing with suicide, and YouTube deranks, demonetizes, and pushes down this content. Meanwhile, CNN and every other channel gets to talk about it all day and night. Jimmy Kimmel can talk about it. There's nothing we can really do. Um, the only thing you can do is share this video if you think it's important. That's about it. Uh, and that counteracts the, the deranking. But let's read. The New York Times reports... The New York City medical examiner said on Friday that Jeffrey Epstein's death in a federal jail cell was a suicide, confirming he hanged himself. Mr. Epstein's death had set off a wave of unfounded conspiracy theories as people speculated online without evidence. Wait, 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 well, hold on. You see how they do this? Why did you add that phrase? It, there was evidence. There, there is evidence. There, there, like, there, there is. Listen, you know what evidence means? Like, there seems to be this thing in the press where they think the word evidence means that there's like one little nugget that proves everything in the universe is true. Now, I'll tell you about evidence to, to, uh, to prevent, uh, pr uh, uh, present you with not necessarily a founded conspiracy, but certainly not unfounded theories. How about one of the guards wasn't a guard? How about they were both sleeping? How about he was just taken off suicide watch? How about they removed his cellmate the day before? Violations of protocol every step of the way. And then you had a statement from uh, a medical ex multiple medical examiners to the Washington Post that the broken bones in the neck were more common in strangulation. Those are not unfounded and without evidence. A medical examiner could testify in a courtroom their professional ex uh, expert opinion on strangulation. Now, there are others who think it's more common than hanging. Fine. The point is, why are they, why is, the New York Times is so annoying. I'm so annoyed how journalists do this, but let's read. They say, as people speculated, speculated online without evidence that he might have, why, just, why, why is it even there? They, they just, oh, slime ball, slimy, slime, 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 that he might have been killed to keep him from providing information to prosecutors about the others in his social circle, including President Trump, former President Bill Clinton, and Prince Andrew of Britain. But the chief medical examiner in New York City, Dr. Barbara Sampson, ruled out foul play. She released a terse statement saying that after an autopsy and a careful review of all investigative information, she had determined the cause of Mr. Epstein's death was hanging and the manner was suicide. Three of Mr. Epstein's lawyers, Martin G. Weinberg, Ra uh, Reed Weingarten, and Michael Miller challenged the findings and vowed to conduct their own investigation. We are not satisfied with the conclusions of the medical examiner, said the lawyers, who had hired a private pathologist to observe the autopsy in a statement. 
we will have a more complete response in the coming days without evidence. Are you kidding me? Their lawyers don't even believe you. God, it's so, it's so absurd. The New York Times jumps the gun and says, we know for sure, period. Remember the last time they did that? Well, not the last time, but remember, remember like, you know, what was it? 18 years ago or so? They were so damn sure that there were weapons of mass destruction. Shut up, New York Times, without evidence. The medical examiner's determination came six days after Mr. Epstein was found dead in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan, where he was awaiting trial on federal sex trafficking charges. Guards on their morning rounds found Epstein at about 6.30 a.m. last Saturday, prison officials said. He appeared to have tied a bedsheet to the top set of bunks, then knelt toward the floor with enough force that he broke several bones in his neck, officials said. And, And maybe that's possible. His suicide followed an apparent attempt to kill himself in late July and came 12 days after prison staff had recommended he be removed from suicide watch and returned to the wing in which he had been housed before. Mr. Epstein's death is subject to four federal investigations, including by the Justice Department's inspector general and the FBI. The attorney general, William P. Barr, said there were serious irregularities in how prison officials handled his supervision without evidence. When William Barr says serious irregularities, don't you know what evidence means? Do you think that when someone is like, like somebody gets arrested, they're looking for one evident, like uh, there's no such thing as evidence. There's no plural here. It's ev- evidence is a singular thing, a, sing- a singular thing that must prove everything I- I- in your theory is true. I am no fan of conspiracy theories. I believe Occam's razor is, uh, you know, the simple solution tends to be the correct one. And here we have a guy who claimed to have dirt on people, who claimed to have a diary of, of, of secret information that would bring other people down as an insurance policy, or at least that's what that was reported before by, by numerous outlets. He, 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 Steven Crowder did a hilarious segment where he's like, every conspiracy theory starts with some kernel of truth and then trails off into like insane nonsense. But the kernel of truth here is pedophile island. Okay. So you want to talk about the simple solution. A guy claims he has dirt on other people and will bring them down. And the day after documents are released in which people are testifying against powerful individuals, he turns up dead. Evidence. Okay, what does that mean? One of the guards wasn't a guard. That is circumstantial evidence. Is it great? No, it is a grain of sand that on its own means nothing. But you want to talk about why people are pushing conspiracy theories. It's because there are a bunch of little grains of sand and eventually they make a heap. And when they do, a question is asked, what happened and why? That's it. That's it. So if you want to have a theory as to what happened based on the existing evidence, that's literally what we do. So here's what we know. Guard wasn't a real guard. He was transferred out for some, for some reason was there. They apparently were asleep, falsified records. He had been on suicide watch before they took him off. They transferred out a cellmate, violations of, of, of pr- protocol. Now, do you want, you want to theorize as to why all of those things happened? Because those are all bits of evidence. They say on July 20, and, 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 and you know, the point is, look at all the investigations happening because of this. Do you think that there, there's no probable cause to assume any of this? Like, let's just read. On July 20, actually, let me say this. You can find evidence that suggests something, follow it, and it turns out not to be true. That's, you know, on July 23rd, Mr. Epstein was found on the floor of his cell with bruises on his neck and was placed in the prison's suicide prevention program where he was under a 24-hour watch in a special cell in which there were no bedclothes or other material could, uh, could be fashioned into a noose. But six days later, prison officials determined he was no longer a threat to himself. What? what? Why? And returned him to a cell in a special housing unit known as Nine Self. He was supposed to have been housed by a cellmate and to have been monitored every half hour by the two guards who patrolled the wing. Uh-oh, New York Times, did you just mention there's potential evidence that there are irregularities here? Not all of the conspiracy theories are that a bunch of men in black in suits secretly broke into the, uh, into the jail and killed him. Some of the conspiracy theories are that there was willful negligence that they wanted these guys to look the other way. Well, you just presented that. He was supposed to be monitored. Th- these are not definitive pieces of proof but they are circumstantial bits of evidence. In a court, you can have circumstantial evidence and not convict because it's not enough. The night before he was found, however, he had been left alone after his cellmate was transferred. The two employees signed to guard him had not checked on him for about three hours before he was discovered. Officials said the employees who have been placed on leave were sleeping for some uh, or all of the time. Mr. Epstein had pleaded not guilty and had been denied bail. 
So my understanding now is that he, uh, there have been some report, there's been some report, I could be wrong, that his lawyers thought he would, he would appeal the bail decision and actually get a house arrest. Uh, in, in which case, why would he kill himself? But uh, let's, let's read on. And, but, but I will say this too. Look, if, if Epstein tried to kill himself or someone tried to kill him back in July, don't you think he would have said something? Like he lived through it. Don't you think he would have told somebody like, hey, they're trying to kill me? Unless you think everyone involved everywhere is in on it, which I think is ridiculous. They say, girls were paid hundreds of dollars in cash for the encounters and once recruited, were asked to return to his home several times where they were abused again, the indictment again against him said. Well, are they adding the point that there are uh, women who said that they were basically uh, uh, trapped there, held there, they had their passports taken away? The conspiracy theories surrounding Mr. Epstein's death were fueled in part by a paucity of information from Bureau of Prison Officials since his body was discovered. And the uh, Washington Post, I might add. The Washington Post ran a story saying the bone break in his neck was more uh, uh, in line with strangulation. So if we can't trust the Washington Post and that's not evidence, what do you want from us? You people are insane, okay? You think that, like, listen, I read the news all day, every day, but there are people who don't. If the Washington Post can't be trusted, y'all can go, I'm not going to swear, but this is what the New York Times is doing. They're mad. They want to insult people for theorizing without evidence, speculating without evidence. The Washington Post saying a bone break in his neck is, evi- is more li- uh, uh, indicative of strangulation is evidence. And you know, I, this is, this is, you know, I'll say one more thing. I'm, I'm done with this story. Okay. Well, I'll follow any leads. I'll give you updates. But I am so sick of the snooty New York urban elite living in their ivory tower, looking down on the, on the poor, ignorant townspeople who are too stupid to know what the hell's going on in the real world, who's citing without evidence. It's the Washington Post, dude. If we can't trust that and you're going to claim that we were speculating without evidence, well, then what do you expect us to do? I'm not going to trust you as far as I can trust the Washington Post. So y'all can go screw off. Okay. And no, I don't trust you one step of the way because you are trying to downplay the reporting of the Washington Post. And I've got to make a choice. Which paper is more credible? The New York Times or the Washington Post? Now, listen, personally, I'm not a fan of the Washington Post. But what do you think the reg- a regular American is supposed to believe when they read one paper saying this is more likely to have been strangulation? They say, wow, that's circumstantial evidence, isn't it? That's something that could be presented in court based on expert opinion and actually play into whether or not this was homicide. No, speculated without evidence. Thanks, New York Times. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, how, how is it up there in the clouds in your ivory tower? Can you see, can you see everybody? Can you, can you see that down here? Yeah, you know what I'm really happy about? The ivory tower is crumbling. I hate, like, listen, man, I, I, I really mean it when I say I grew up far left, right? I detest the, the establishment, uber snooty elites, and, and I'll say this too. Look, it's been the Republican Party. It's been the Democratic Party. They are the ivory tower elites. You had the, you, growing up, I had the industrialists on the right and the snooty urban in, intelligentsia of the left. And now something's changed. Donald Trump is not a snooty <laughs> industrialist. He's a crass, boorish man. He is wealthy. He is elite, but he's not part of that framework. He's not the snooty I know better than you kind of. He's much more, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, uh, it's, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a thing about Trump that's very different, okay? And I guess I'll put it this way. He's the populist right. Bernie Sanders was the populist left. I was all for Bernie Sanders. Now Bernie Sanders is another one of these ivory tower elites. They can all go screw off. So I'm not a fan of Trump. You guys know it, but I'm sick and tired of the urban ivory tower elites. And I, 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 I am excited for the collapse of those who lord above us as though they're smarter than we are. Because we, these simple townsfolk, couldn't possibly understand what's happening, could we? Well, I'll tell you what. You know what? There's cracks in the foundation. And part of those cracks are coming from the fact the Washington Post is the one who reported the breaks were more likely to have been strangulation. So that means you, New York Times, your, your foundation is cracking. Good riddance, okay? I think journalism is extremely important, but not from these snooty elites who, listen, 
Journalism is an, is an industry fueled by wealthy individuals with wealthy kids who can afford to live in New York City and not have to make money. And they're offered unpaid internships and they live in their apartments in, in the, the Upper West Side or the Upper East Side or Williamsburg. Their parents are paying for it and they work for free. And that's how they get the jobs. So poor people don't stand a chance. Working class people don't stand a chance. And then you get snooty ivory tower elites looking down on the poor folk. The influencers, those who are shaping the conversation for us. I don't want to hear it. Take it without evidence and shove it. I'll see you all at 1 p.m. on this channel.